Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be making an Apple ID. So the very first thing we should do is just type in Apple ID in Google and you will find the very first thing will be appleid.apple.com. That's exactly where you have to go. So let's just go right into there. Once the page loads up, it's going to look something like this. And at the top right hand side, we're going to see create your Apple ID. So let's just click on the top right hand side, create your Apple ID. Then we're going to see these fields. All we have to do is fill them up. So we're gonna start off with name, then choose your region or your country, wherever it is. So US is fine, your birthday. So if you scroll down just a little bit, you will see this, nameexample.com. <laughs> so that's where you're supposed to put your email and that's your new Apple ID. Then we have to type in a password. So just make sure it's eight characters long. You do need that uppercase and lowercase letters plus one number in there. So. I would also suggest putting a symbol of some type in there just to make it even more safe. Once you type that in, you guys can keep scrolling down and putting your phone number. Now this part's very important because if we click right here, it's gonna tell us exactly this. If we forget our password for any reason, we can reset it using your phone number. So that's why it's very important to put in your phone number at this point in time. So right now you guys can just keep scrolling down once you type that in. And right here you will see this. So just type in the characters you guys will see in the image. It's obviously gonna be different for you than what I see on my screen. And we're just gonna click in the bottom. We will see continue. Once we go into next, you will see this screen where it's saying to verify your email address. And that's very important in order to create this account. So we're gonna go right into our Gmail right now. And we should be getting an email from Apple. So that email from Apple should look something like this. I'm just gonna zoom in on it a little bit. It should say Apple, verify your email. I'm gonna click right there. And just in case to avoid any spam or any fake emails from Apple, they should always be from this address. So this is the address from Apple, okay? If you guys are getting anything else, really weird emails, then that's not it. That's the email address that you should be getting this from. And this right here is the code that I need. So I'm just gonna copy this over into here, paste it, and I'm gonna continue on. Now the same thing will be to your phone number. So this is the phone number, and you should be getting a text message to your phone number. So I can see I got a text message from Apple, and yes, it's not gonna say Apple, it might say a weird odd number, something like 83356, something like that, doesn't really matter. You got, it's got the code, just type it in. So in this case, this is the code that I got. It's obviously gonna be different for you. I'm gonna continue on. And finally, I'm done. So right here, we can see my Apple ID, where it's reachable, which is the same thing, my birthday, language, and everything else, including my trusted phone numbers. So I can even add or change stuff right here. And if I would want to change my password, this is the time to do it. If I keep scrolling down, I can see what I signed up for and what I didn't. So I can take off the check marks for any one of these if I don't want that. I'm gonna keep going down, going down, going down, and here we go. And here I can see all my data and privacy. If I go all the way back up, again, I can see everything from my account. And that's how you guys can create an Apple ID account right here from apple.com. This account can be used for anything, your iPhone, Mac, iPad, anything Apple related, this will be it. And that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.